Hey everyone, welcome back to Apples and Tiaras. If you are new here, my name is Charlotte and I am a fourth grade science and social studies teacher in Arizona. So today's vlog is just kind of like a day in the life vlog. Um, so this week we are still learning about water. Today is kind of our last day to prepare for our water festival, which is tomorrow. So I'm gonna kind of show you guys what we're doing today. So today the kids are making watersheds and they're doing that with paper. Um, and we're just talking about what a watershed is, what's part of the watershed, and who is a watershed manager. So I'm gonna flip you guys around and show you the model that we made in my last class. All right, so here is the model of the watershed. So essentially what they do is crumble up a piece of paper, tape it to the bottom, and then they label all the high points, the low points, they make farms, they put cities, and they label mines, and then we spray them with water and see where the water runs, where it sheds, and where it collects. So kind of cool, super fun. Um, and yeah, so this is the bulk of the lesson today. We're gonna just, I asked some questions along the way and observations and things like that. So that's part of our lesson today, but yeah, super fun. So the science standard for this is I can formulate an evidence-based argument about water and its availability and its impact on life. And so part of that is the watershed, where it comes from, where it goes, where it collects, how we use it, how we collect it, and how we treat it and how we make it better for us to drink, uh, to use, and its quality and how to improve it. So we do have our water festival coming tomorrow. It's usually like a super fun, field day kind of thing, but unfortunately this year it is virtual, so merp for that. But it will be tomorrow during third period, and they're also providing us with pizza, so that's kind of exciting. Um, if you guys didn't know, I do teach departmentalized, so I am the science and social studies teacher for the entire grade level, which I absolutely love. Um, here's my classroom, if you guys are new and you haven't seen it yet. The kids are out at lunch right now, um, and so in Arizona, we are currently um, essentially mask-free, except for in schools. So we are still wearing our masks at school, and we are still practicing social distancing at school, but they have reduced the distance from six feet to three feet. So we are able to put our students in little pods right now, which is great. And at this point, like, honestly, the desks in the middle I mean, they provide them with the three feet that they need, but it is nice to be able to have the kids kind of sitting together and collaborating. It does make for a very interesting puzzle and maze that we have to walk through, but that's okay because we are more than glad to walk through there as long as we get to work together. The kids love sitting next to each other and being able to work together. Um, Tina is here. Where are you, Teeny? Oh, she's sleepy. Oh, is a sleepy baby. Hi, sweetie. Um, also, I'm super excited because my school is opening a preschool and pre-K program. So Cash is going to be coming to school here next school year. And I'm so excited um, to have him here at school with me. It's kind of just like the thing you look forward to the most when you become a teacher. If like someday when you have children, you know that they're going to be with you, um, especially if you work like in the elementary level. like. I just knew someday when I had kids, like they would come to school with me and they'd be, you know, with me after school and before school and just gives me an excuse to hang out with them more. So he's going to be starting preschool here next school year. And so he'll be here with me every day. Oh gosh, I'm so excited. Um, and so that is what I was just doing during my prep was filling out his registration form. I also have to fill out my PD path form, which is where um, every year we have a certain amount of professional development hours that we need to complete and we have to do them in a selected area. So my selected area was project-based learning or science or STEM, so related to my subject. And so I do have quite a few professional development um, certifications that I'm currently working through and I do have to fill out a form that explains how I use the professional development to improve and impact uh, teaching and improve my, uh, make an impact on my students. So I'm currently working on that. It's not due until May 7th 
Um, and I do have a meeting where I talk to my instructional assistant about all the hours and how it impacted me and what my plan is and all that stuff. So I'm currently working on that. I just have it on my little to-do list. Um, tomorrow though, during our water festival, that's during third period. My first period class has earned a class reward. So tomorrow we're going to do a technology day, uh, where the kids get to bring their phones, their tablets. I'm going to be bringing in my PlayStation so that we can all race each other on Crash Bandicoot. So I told them if you have a PS4 remote control, bring it in and then we can do like eight player. It'd be super fun. Um, outfit of the day, I'm trying to like put everything into one little section here. Outfit of the day. I have this super cute, um, jumper on. Is it a jumper? Or are we calling these rompers still? I'll show you. Okay, so here's the romper. It is super flowy. These are made with like polyester or something. It's super stretchy. This is from Old Navy. I love this color. I know it doesn't match my shoes very well, but I don't really care at this point. Um, and I just put a t-shirt on underneath it. Also, yeah, I did cut my hair. Uh, those of you that follow me on Instagram, you've already seen it. But those of you who don't follow me on Instagram, I did. I chopped it off. <sighs> and I also lightened it so it is a lot lighter. All right, so the kids are building some handmade watersheds right now. We've got, they're kind of 3D, you yeah, can see here. Awesome. So I'm going to take you guys around to see their watershed. Mine, mine is like awesome. awesome. Yours is very, oh, you got Everest at yours, right? Yes. Okay, let's see them. <laughs> All right, so the green represents the high points and the blue represents the low points. We've got some abandoned mines here with red, some cities here with a hashtag. Do you have your farms yet? No, I have brown. We're going to build some farms. Ooh, we got a lot of farms in this one. So the brown are representing farms. You got a lot of mines. You're like out in Marinci. <laughs> I love it. Okay, let's see what you got here. Looking good? These are very 3D. I love it. There's one under a mountain. Wow, you got a lot of 3D here too. Underground city. Let me see yours. Very nice. Ooh, I love this one. Your crust is real thick, right? All right? Oh, you got thick crust too. Wait, Don't forget to do your green. Right this, is the this is green. That's the green? Yeah, Maybe borrow like Elijah's green. and do a little bit darker on the actual ridge. Wait, where is the shot? Doesn't give an underground world. Oh, I love this one. It's nice and tall. Look, I got Mount Everest. Hi. Mount Mount Everest. So now we're going to take our rain simulator and we're gonna make it rain on our models and we're gonna make some observations the people are very Also, please ignore my terrible skin. Um, mask wearing is really killing me. Um, terrible for the skin, lots of scarring. Sorry about it, I'm not gonna wear makeup under a mask, I'm just not gonna do it. Um, also, I wanted to show you guys, so my best, best friend, Mandy. You guys, if you've been here with me for a while, you know who Mandy is. Um, she taught with Jennifer and I up in Prescott, and she is actually down here, and she's living in Queen Creek, where I live, and she is going to be teaching at my school next year. She's going to be teaching first grade, so her little girl will be going to the preschool with cash. Anyway, that's the long story short. I am just so excited to have Mandy here with me. She is my true BFF teacher, love. I just love her. Um, and Aiden is here. Her son Aiden, you guys remember Aiden. He's a seventh grader, which means he is over there in one of those windows. And he's actually here right now. Today's his first day of school. So he is here somewhere. 
Um, but I wanted to show you guys, Mandy got me this amazing poster for my birthday and just gave it to me. My birthday was in August and just gave it to me, but it is all of Miss Frizzle's dresses from the show up until 1997. So I think I'm going to have my mom make me a couple of these and wear them next year, like on Fridays, but make them more like nowadays style, like this one instead of the collar, like make them like this. Either that or make me some frizzle skirts because the kids call me Val Dizzle because I am, you know, frizz of the viz. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, um, my kids are currently at lunch. They're down there. You can't see them. They're down there. And I'm just going to get a few more things done. Um, Got to get our introduction letter for next year written. I do have a new teammate coming. I'm eating my fruit for the day. And I'll be picking the kids up in about 10 minutes. So I'm gonna look at that, get another thing written for my PD path, and then I will be picking up the kids and we will start period two. Okay, you guys, so it is now 5.15 in the afternoon. Clock has been awake for about 30 minutes now. And we have been just playing outside um, he had some remote control cars that he really wanted to drive around on the street, but he also wanted to play with this garbage truck that he has over here. And he wanted to like crawl around and push it like he is now, but the concrete out front was really hurting his leg. So he came in the backyard, which we just redid, um, the patio furniture. And my mom actually made these covers for our chairs. And it looks so good. I love it. I want to get some more little plants. These are mums, and they lasted all through the spring and through the summer um, so far. So I might just go get a couple more of those little summer plants just to keep right here under the patio because it does get really hot, and they don't do well out here. Um, so I think I'm going to do that. Hey, how are you? Are you excited to go to mommy's school? Yeah. What are you going to do there? I'm going to share with this toy. You're going to play with that toy? Yeah. You're going to share it? Yeah, I'll share it. Yeah. Ronan's at your preschool. No, Ronan isn't, but Millie will go. Millie can play with it. Yeah, Millie can play with that and with you. Um, Cash and I have to go to the grocery store tonight. Uh, we usually go on Mondays, just the two of us. Mondays are my day off from the gym. Mommy! Hey, Mommy! Oh. Ooh, oh, it goes down? Yeah. That's really neat. Um, So two, Mondays and Tuesdays I take off from the gym because this guy will nap until about five. And so Mondays and Tuesdays are kind of my day to like catch up on chores and stuff. So Mondays we usually go to the grocery store. Where stores do we go to? What's the store called that we shop at? Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's, yeah. yeah. And where else do we go? Target. Target, yeah. We go to Target first and then Trader Joe's. Target for dog food, coffee, and Alani new energy drinks. Mommy, mommy. And then we get all of our food from Trader Joe's, huh? Mommy, hey, mommy. What? Yeah, we get snacks at the store, huh? Yeah, and then this opens. And then Tuesdays, we just hang out here, mommy, and mommy, I do laundry, mommy, and uh, mommy, we just mommy, hang out and play. Mommy, mommy. What? We go down. Oh, okay, show me how your toy works. Until the day that I die, I won't lie. 
Cash Valdez. Mm -hmm. How old are you? Oh, don't kick. You're three? Yeah. What's your favorite color? Blue? Yeah. Yesterday it was red. Do you like red too? Yeah. It's on my shirt. What's your favorite toy? The garbage sack. That one? Yeah, we're here. What's your favorite snack? Um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like cheddar bunnies? No. Do you like goldfish? No. Do you like cookies? No. <laughs> Do you like bars? Yeah. Yeah. Do you like applesauce? Yeah. Do you like cereal? Yes. You love cereal, huh? Yeah, me too. <laughs> Do you like chicken? No. You paper. <laughs> you love chicken. <laughs> Mommy. What? Look it. Look at the moon. Oh, yeah, the moon is up there, huh? Yes. It's and the sun is going away. Yeah, the sun's going away. The moon comes up when the sun comes, it goes away, huh? Yeah. Then the sky goes to sleep, doesn't it? Yeah. Is there a bug in my hair? What? I thought there was a bug in my hair. Oh. In my hair, too. Hey. That is so easy. Oh, Daddy eats the bugs out of your hair? Yeah. That's, that's silly. You're silly. You ready to go to the store? Yeah. Okay. Let's take my garbage stuff. <laughs> Wedgie picker. Let's make you go to the store. Okay, let's go. Okay, guys. Here's the massive haul. So, I'm going to show you a couple of my favorite things from Trader Joe's. I feel like I've shown you guys Trader Joe's hauls before, but I'm going to show you my favorite items, my go-tos, the ones I get every week that help me with my bright line eating. So, um, first of all, I love soda water or any type of sparkling water. So, I got a pack of the lemon uh, spindrifts for this week. Okay, so a couple of things. Um, first of all, when you're doing bright line eating, you try to avoid flour and sugar. And then everything else that you eat is supposed to be weighed. Um, so you eat in ounces. Whoops. So one of the things that I love and a staple in my diet are these cauliflower thins. So these are from Trader Joe's. They're great for a bread substitute. So I like to make little pizzas with these, sandwiches. You can put tuna on them. Pretty much anything that you would put bread under or on, um, you could use these. And then another thing I like to substitute for bread, like for a wrap, because um, I really enjoy wraps, um, are these folio cheese wraps. They're great because they do have protein in them. So you can count this as part of your protein. And then I also like to put um, like salami in there with like mustard, cucumber, and lettuce. And then it's a delicious little wrap. Um, and I oftentimes eat that with my plantain chips as like a crunchy, crunchy, yummy, crunchy. Um, and then for breakfast, for your first meal of the day, you're allowed to have um, potato or corn. So I thought I would give these a try. Um, I thought it would be good. I could use this and then have a wrap, and it's kind of like a lunch for breakfast kind of thing. And then I love the everything but the bagel salmon. The only thing that's wrong with this is it is farm-raised and not wild-caught, but that's fine because it tastes so good. Um, and then I love the Argentina red shrimp. This stuff is so good. It's really delicious for shrimp tacos. Um, I love this salsa specifically. I like to dip my plantain chips in it. So I just measure out, um, a bit of salsa and then I dip in there. And then this is so delicious. This carne asada. Um, we like to make carne asada tacos out of that. So delicious. I have never tried this though. I'm very interested. I think I might try some tonight. 
with a plantain chip because I love anything I can dip. And this counts as a protein and a fat, so I can have that. Okay, if you like salmon with capers on a bagel, this stuff is <coughs> delicious. Hey you guys, so I'm sitting here editing this vlog about a week later and I realized that I did not end the vlog, so I apologize in advance. Um, yeah, this is the end. So thank you guys for watching and for hanging out with me. I do plan on making an entire video about Brightline eating and just my fitness journey. Quite a few of you have requested um, kind of like a story time video where I just kind of tell you all of the things I've been doing for health and fitness. And so I'm planning on doing that in the next coming days. But thank you guys for being here today and for watching my vlog. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.